Hey folks, what you saw here was a really unflattering um, promo video of a restaurant in Australia called Karen's Diner. Yes, that's right. Concerns raised over Virtual Adventures Brisbane restaurant Karen's Diner. Um, a new dining experience um, where customers can vent their frust life frustration at staff has experts worried um, it could expose workers to a potentially abusive and unfair safe environment. The Brisbane restaurant called Karen's Diner is set up um, in the open South Bank and in July serving up American comfort food with a side of serious Thai. Virtual Adventures is the company behind the concept and its director Aidan Levin described it it as a very fun, silly dining experience, offering questionable service, but where customers will be welcome to dish their disdain back at staff. It's a place where people can come and vent their life frustration at staff. They can get it back from our staff, he told the Courier Mail. It's a place where we don't take ourselves too seriously. We deliver good food and pride ourselves on having a bad service. He added the events um, company, had seen um, staff cop bad behaviour from Karen's over the years without the opportunity to serve it back. People had been pelt up in lockdown and our diner is a place where they can come and release that anger in a nice controlled environment, says Miss Levin. We saw the opportunity with Karen's trending in the media and we thought why not create a place where we embrace the Karen control and everyone can be a Karen. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh dear. But behavioural scientist um, Aaron McEwan from Global Research and advisory firm Gartha said while it um, was an interesting gimmick that had um, been done before in places like New York it could increase a dangerous situation. One of the things we've seen um, with the pandemic is that societies are fragmenting along political and other lines with the anti-vax, anti-mask conflicts being one of the most obvious, he told news.com.au. My sense is that frustrations are high, burnout is on the rise and people are at the end of their tethers. So it's probably not a smart move to openly encourage this type of potential abusive and highly volatile environment. What stands out as a good nature of fun could very quickly deteriorate into a dangerous situation that introduced enormous risk for an employer who is obligated to provide a safe working environment to staff and a business that could be sued for not protecting its customers. But as Mr. Levin and said, virtual um, adventures employed highly trained actors as staff to ensure they knew where to draw the line with some jovial fun. All customers coming to the diner know what to expect and we ensure that humour remains jovial and surface level, he told news.com.au. The safety of our customer and staff is paramount and we create a fun tongue and cheek experience that allows both staff and customers to enjoy some shared humour in a safe environment. Ex environment. Employment expert and managing partner of the law firm Clyde & Co, Marco Tomo, said the concept was concerning as employers have a duty of care to staff in terms of both physical safety but also psychologically. It has the potential to create an unsafe workplace for staff, particularly where there is no clarity as to where the line is drawn between banter and abuse, and it might all seem fine until someone goes too far and a staff member suffers serious psychological harm, he said. If the comp set um, is advertised, and it should be something that should draw the attention of work health and safety regulators, and it would be concerning if this type of concept takes hold. Mr. Levin said the comment about anyone venting their life frustration at each other was taken out of context. Instead, the diner was a place where staff may get orders wrong or make um, someone tell an awkward joke. Uh, it's arm's length um, height. Um, hearted fun, and that never gets personal, he said. All customers not only on book um, in knowing what they are to expect and our staff also reconfirmed 
to, to the guests on Rob to ensure everyone is on the same page. <laughs> this is interesting. So yeah, the pop-up um, experience has had mixed response on Facebook. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Is anyone else not concerned about the psychological, not to mention physical, safety of this staff? Are they even trained to deal mentally deal with this? Do they even have an EPA? And what kind of world are we freaking live in where it's promoted to treat people awfully? No thanks. Do a pop-up donor that discount on acts of kindness if you think lock the lockdowns had had been hard on everyone, wrote one woman. I wonder where the drunken customer becomes aggressive and how that will be handled. Seems like a fun idea in general, but dealing with the public, you have people who don't know how to play properly, another man said. But others um, could see the fun of it. Hope they will be open 24 hours. There's a lot of venting to do, joke one woman. Definitely a market for this one. Well done, said another. Karen Dunn is expected to remain open for a year when he launches in 2022. What are your thoughts on this, people? Um, Karen's done is where everyone can be Karen. Let your thoughts down in the comments section. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hope you have a good day.